Hi everybody, Hub Arkus here for Pro Football Weekly as we do our Week 7 Monday Night Preview. The Monday Night game is a good one and here to help me is Associate Editor Dan Parr. Dan covers the, well, actually the NFC South, but he also has the Chicago Bears. And Mike Wilkening, our Senior Editor, is an AFC North guy, but he's got the Detroit Lions. And you know guys, this is a fascinating football game which really changed dramatically, Wilkie, when the Lions had that late comeback last week against the Eagles. May have saved their season, Hub. Down 10 in the fourth quarter. They made the necessary plays to win. They made the plays on offense and defense. It was a wonderful big play, breakout sort of game, particularly on the defensive side of things. Louis Dalmas coming back. This is a team at 2-3 and three now has a new outlook on life, and really all things considered is coming into this game in pretty good form. And you know, Dan, I think the question everybody around the country is asking about the Chicago Bears, 4-1 and one impressive, a lot of new talent on the team, but just how good is this football team as they've really failed to put 60 minutes together? That's right, especially on offense. Uh, really slow starts throughout the season. We saw it even against the Jacksonville Jaguars the last time the Bears played. Uh, this is a big test for the Bears' offensive line. I know that the Detroit defensive line's taking some heat this season for not playing up to expectations, but that defensive line has given the Bears' offensive line a lot of trouble in recent years. You talk about 13 sacks, 23 tackles for loss the last four times these two teams have played. Uh, they need guys like Jamarcus Webb and Gabe Karimbi to play uh, a lot better, starting you know with guys like Cliff Averill coming off the edge, not be consuming the middle. It's a tough test for the offensive line. Well, Mike, I think it was last week. Cliff Averill had a pair of sacks. I think Nick Fairley got one. But Indomitian Sue still pretty much missing in action. And Kyle Vandenbosch isn't off to a great start either. You know, I, I think it's still a defensive line, though, that has a lot of playmaking punch. And this is a stage for this line in a matchup, as Dan mentioned, that I think is favorable for this line to take a big step forward. And so that could be the key to this game. Can they get this Bears offense on the run into some obvious passing situations uh, to where this defensive line can kind of emphasize its strengths? Well, and maybe, Mike, the other question about the Detroit Lions on the offensive side. Michael Ashore has given them a little bit of punch in the running game. They're 24th right now. They were 29th last year, so a little bit better. And Calvin Johnson is still Calvin Johnson, but he can't find the end zone. Will the Lions find enough offense to go against the Bears' top-ranked defense? I think the first thing you mentioned is the key point here. They've got to be able to run the ball. The difference in that first game between the teams last year is job at best, that big playability. Calvin Johnson had a big game as well. That second game, they couldn't run the football. They fell behind. Stafford throws 63 passes. Basically, the Bears can play back as they do in that cover two and restrict the big play. The Lions have to do something to move the chains in the run game. I think that opens up everything else for this offense. And you know, Dan, if the Pro Bowl were tomorrow, I'm told both Peanut Tillman and Tim Jennings, the Bears' two corners, cornerbacks would be there but still neither one of them is going to make a living going all night long one-to-one -one with Calvin Johnson and a lot of people believe the Bears safeties have played better but still need to be tested I'm betting the Lions are the ones to test them and the biggest key for those players in the secondary is to have that front four for the Bears keep playing the way it was the first five games of the season and Matthew Stafford not sacked last week against the Eagles the Bears have to make sure that does not happen this Monday Wilkie by now if you're alive and you love the NFL you know what the underdogs are doing what are the Lions going to do Monday night against the Bears I think we've got another underdog that shows up. I prefer the Bears at home. I think they pull one out, but I think the Lions are getting back into good form. I think they're going to give the Bears everything they can handle. I'm going to go with the Bears at home on Monday night. I just think uh, right now, offensively, they've had a bye week to kind of get things together there. Uh, the Lions defensive line has not quite played up to expectations for this so far this season. And I think defensively they're just playing too well right now for Detroit to go off against them. Well, and you know, with some of the Lions' problems mentally, attitude-wise, are they ready for this big stage? The Bears, off their last nine bye weeks, including playoffs, are 7-2. and two. They're going to come ready. They want to make a statement. I think you got to like the Chicago Bears at home in this one, guys. That'll do it for our Monday night preview, but for the best all week long, the best in pro football, the best to help you enjoy the NFL, make sure you're always dialed in at ProFootballWeekly.com.